Hello, 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 Mark back again, well rested and back from the holiday. Hope everyone had a great holiday and a great time off. Um, I did a dynamic link tutorial a few months back and uh, it was a good way to do things, but uh, I've got uh, a much faster way and a better way to use the dynamic link than I did show you. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> so you want to do this. Uh, after you've already done your edit. Uh, you definitely don't want to add your effects before you've done your editing because you don't know what shot you're going to use and, and uh, you know the time between clips and all that nonsense. So um, unless you really know your specific place where you're going to add the effects, uh, you should do it this way. So after you've edited all your footage, um, pretty much your final edit, uh, without, you, know, you, you don't have to have sound if you don't want to, but your final edit, basically this is it. This is uh, this is how everything's going to go with all your transitions and all that good stuff, all right? Then you want to come to the clip that uh, you want to edit, you want to add the effects to. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the uh, you're going to click on the uh, footage and you're going to right click. And at the bottom of this is going to be replace with after effects composition. You're going to click on that and it's going to open up after effects. And when it opens up after effects, it's going to ask you to uh, name a folder. All right, so we're going to name a folder. You can name it whatever. I named the uh, dynamic link test, which I'm going to do. And then what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to bring that footage in the After Effects, okay? And now you can uh, add your effect. We're going to generate uh, a lens flare, all right? We're going to generate a lens flare, and uh, we'll just... bring it over to there so we have kind of this sh I mean I'm just doing this on the fly for the test all right so now uh, in Premiere Pro there you go there's our, our effect it brought it right in uh, and there's there it is so we come in with it, and then that's it. And it's just as simple as that. That is exactly how you should work with the dynamic link in Adobe After Effects. And that's it. That's how the uh, dynamic link works. And then, uh, of course, now, if you don't save this, it won't save in, in a Premiere Pro. You have to save the the composition uh, in After Effects. All right, but it's, you named it. It's done for you, and uh, it's just that simple. Uh, another quick note: uh, in case you didn't know, After Effects actually keeps memory in your last 25 uh, edits. Okay, that's why when you hit Control Z, you can Control Z and, and undo your last move. And if you keep hitting Control Z, you'll unmove the last move, then a second to last, third to last, and so on. Well, that takes up memory. So if you want to, you know, you've been working, if you've been working for half an hour, 45 minutes, you've generated a lot of memory in uh, button pushes. And if you got to that point where you don't want to, you know, undo any of your edits, you can hold down Control Alt and. Uh, the button right next to the number lock button on the right and it will uh, delete the uh, memory that you just had and it'll make your uh, you know computer a little bit more responsive that's about it I know this was quick I got some great tutorials coming up from uh, a bunch of you guys asked for certain tutorials and I'm gonna give them to you I've got uh, one that I'm I'm excited I'm about to bring it, which is uh, how to make things appear to blow up within your composition, meaning, uh, I don't know if you saw the video of things to come, where uh, I was running across the screen and there was uh, a wastebasket container in the background. There was an actual wastebasket that was there. I mean, it looked like the top got blown off. I'm going to show you guys how to do that with not only you know waste pa paper baskets, but anything you can blow up anything people uh, you know pieces of car whatever it's really cool so that'll be coming up I got uh, the uh, teleporting effect that someone asked about we'll be doing that real soon 
uh, we'll be doing some um, 3D stuff with Element and I'll be giving away uh, for free uh, some more uh, explosions, muzzles, maybe some blood and stuff and uh, other stuff that we will be working on uh, just giving it away uh, you know so uh, I'm glad you guys are still watching and thanks again and we'll talk to you soon